Jessica Jing H here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be switching my gear from my kitchen to technology. But before I go on, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, kindly subscribe to help me with my YouTube algorithm. And also, don't forget to ring the bell so you will be notified if I release a new video. All right, folks, today let us discuss about Excel. Can you imagine you're going for a job interview and you will be asked, what do you know about Excel? Well, this vlog might come in handy, so watch along with me. So let's get started, shall we? So, what are the things you can do in Excel? First, a function that I want to show you, and by the way folks, there are so many functions Excel offers, but I'm only going to show you a few, okay? So, first function is sorting data. Spreadsheets are useful for storing and sorting our data. For example, you're part of the election campaign and you have thousands of contacts from east, west, north, and south that you that are not in order. So this can be confusing and cause migraine, right? But with sorting data, you can easily sort it in alphabetical order by last names or you can group them together by region. How do we do that? So let me show you a quick demonstration. As you can see, I have a worksheet open and I would like to sort uh, my rep column from A to Z. So how do you do that? You highlight the entire data set that you want to sort, not just one column, by either dragging your cursor across all of the cells and or clicking simply click, click your triangle button here do you see this triangle from the top left corner all you need to do let me show you and that will select the whole um, worksheet okay and then from uh, the data menu click data menu and then from the ribbon there's a sort button click that and a dialog box pop up now i would like to sort it by rep and leave it the order from a to z or ascending order and then hit ok and as you can see now my rep is uh sorted from a and to z right so isn't that easy okay so then the second function that i want to show you i'm excited to show this second function i personally i really like this uh, functionality okay so you're working on excel and you don't know the dates while working on excel and you will have to click the calendar from the bottom to find that out why not listen the extra step and just type the keyboard shortcut for inserting current date so let me clear this from my order uh, date column i will clear the first date here in cell two and then i would insert today's date so what is the shortcut for that simply type control on plus and see me uh, colon so as you can see to this date is inserted so let me uh, write that one down so insert uh, current date so in that way in case you're going to refer back to my vlog then you will see what's uh i've added here okay so control and then plus and see me colon that's the keyboard shortcut for inserting a date so easy breezy to remember folks control plus semi colon isn't that neat 
So, and let me highlight that. Okay? So, now, the next or third function that I'm going to show you is freezing paints. It is really annoying when you are scrolling through a huge spreadsheet that you need to scroll up to the top again to see the headers again. Well, folks, freezing the header row of your spreadsheet will solve that issue. So how do we do that again? So simply just um, highlight the row that you want to freeze. In my case, it's my header row, which is cell one okay and then from view button or menu from the view menu you will see freeze panes um the ribbon of freeze paints button there and click that and it will give you these three option click freeze top row and look what happened now my header didn't disappear. It stayed there, right? Isn't that neat? Right. That's neat. So now, the fourth function that I want to show you is remove duplicates. As you can see here, I have my rep, all duplicates. I have few Andrews and Jill and so on. The experience, you have that large file that contains a bunch of duplicates. Man, oh man. That can be frustrating if... It's a lot right now. I have just a few right for my example for my demonstration But can you really imagine apply that in real life and see if you have that you are in that scenario? What do you do that can be really frustrating? Okay, so how to get rid of the duplicates? Simply is again highlight the entire data set or your worksheet right and then from the data tab or menu you will see remove duplicates button click that and you will see here um, your uh, the columns okay so let me just do that again For some reason it's not okay duplicates this is better and then you will see that it gives me this columns and let me check rep I'm going to remove the duplicates name or rep so and then hit OK Excel warned me that there are 32 duplicate values found and remove as you can see now my list got shorter and so I will click OK and bingo all the duplicates disappear so now folks the last but not the least that we should know about excel is a basic math functions with excel you don't need a calculator this big calculator i still have it for my for my son and let excel calculates it for you all you need to do is enter a few simple formulas now what are the basic formulas that you can use in excel and by the way folks before i go on i just want to let you know that if you stick around i'm aside from showing you the basic formula i'm actually going to show you a little advanced formula after this so stick around as you might find this helpful and with this formula you can actually use it in different platform i use it in my sharepoint list um, by calculating the uh, calculating columns so all right let's get started with our basic math functions so let's start with addition i've already written here what uh, what i want to achieve let's start with addition so with formula always start with equals okay and then since it's addition, I will type sum and open bracket. What I want to uh, add is I would like to add the F3 and G3. So select two uh, cells. Okay. And then close the bracket. Hit enter. 
and as you can see it calculates the addition for you now with subtraction let's go to subtraction it's actually easier than sum because you don't have to type few things you don't have to remember the sum uh, function right so for subtraction again type equals and then for example i want to subtract uh, g4 against f4 so what i need to do is select the g4 and then uh, type hyphen and then a 4 and hit enter and there you go that's my subtraction now let's move on to multiplication so i would like to multiply units and unit cost okay so uh let's say for units let me select that that's e5 oh sorry i have to start with equals first again we don't forget that that's how the excel will uh, you know uh, will know that you're trying to calculate the cell all right so type equals and then um, click units five and then asterisk and then select f5 and then hit enter that is the result all right so are you following me so far it's easy right now the last one division and again i want to multiply total cost and unit cost okay so start with equals i will select total cost and then type forward slash and then select if f6 okay now if i so f6 and then hit enter this is the result that i've got so it's not hard to do right it's actually quite easy as long as you just remember the formula and as i mentioned this is a very basic formula that easy to remember so those are the basic things that you need to know about excel now let me show you few advanced features and formula that you can use in excel and as i mentioned earlier this might come in handy for you in the future now you will probably uh, won't remember everything i will show you today but the good thing is you can watch my vlog over and over again when needed so are you still with me Come on, follow along with this tutorial and I will try to be simple as possible. So folks, let me start with date and time formulas. So as you can see, I already have some data here that made it uh, ready before I started this video just to be faster so what I want to achieve here is I want to add a number of days to a date by using the addition operator so I have a column items column which is I have purses shoes watches I have items date receive um, February 1st or 5th and so on and I have the days column here and this is where i'm going to plug in my formula and then this is what i want to achieve so in cell or row three i want to add 15 days to february one uh, so as you can see here i have 15 days and then um february one so what i want to what formula that you want to use that like if you really like you know um think about it 15 days of february one is simply to add from your head but think about when you have to uh count like you know many days right so this formula will come in handy all right so again to start you will have to type the equal sign and as i mentioned i want to determine how many days uh, what will be the date um that 
when you add 15 days to February 1, 2021, what will be the date? So let me see, okay? Um, let's uh, determine that date. So first, select this cell, which is B3, and then add the addition operator, and then select the days column and then select enter so as you can see at 15 days of february 1 is february 16 2021 let me copy the formula to the next cell so again for february 5th is february 20 2021 and then uh, February 15, add 15 days to February 15 is March the 2nd, 2021. So that is the uh, first fun of, uh, formula that I want to show you. Now, let me show you another um, example here. And that is to add a number of months to a date by using the date, year, month, and day functions okay so as you can see here um i want to add five months to february one that's in cell b9 okay and here's some more months i have uh, five months 10 months and then 15 months so what will be the formula of that so again it started with equals and remember the date function that we have in excel I open a bracket and then as you can see again excel will give you a tip right what will be the next formula in this case i would like to uh, we will start with year okay let me just capital that year and then another open bracket and remember the cell is from so it is february 1 is b9 okay you can actually select that so you will not uh, miss it and then you will not make mistake and then this uh, the number will um will automatically be entered in that cell okay so then close the bracket and then put the comma and also type month okay so how many months again but before you do that make sure that you open the bracket and then select again b9 all right close the bracket and then this where you're going to plug in how many months you want to add so in our case we want to add five months right so that will be plus okay and then what cell is it five months so that's cell uh, c9 okay and then put the comma and type day and open the bracket again and you have to always refer the cell b9 okay and then close the bracket and another bracket to close the first bracket that you've added here as you notice here the all the brackets are uh, closed right so that's why you have and this was, is the last one that we need uh, to close as well and then hit enter so as you can see add five months to february 1st 2021 become july 1 2021 so let me copy this um formula okay and then but of course as you can see it changes the date depending on how many months you want to add so in this case under row 10 i want 10 months add 10 months of february 5th this will be december 20 december 5th 2021 and then row 11 is may 15 2022 so isn't that neat to know to know uh that a kind of formula it will really help you in the future okay so then the next one is i want to add a combination okay of days months and years to a date by using the date year month and day function again 
Okay, so um, my uh, the, here's my description. I want to add five years and two months and ten days to February 1, 2021. What will be your formula for that? So again, start with equals and then your date function. Open bracket, just like what we did there earlier. And then type year, open bracket. And what is the... A cell that you want to uh, cal calculate from is B15, okay? And then you have to cross, uh, close that bracket, sorry. Close the bracket and then plus uh, you want to add five years, right? So five, okay? And then comma, month. Type the month and then again open bracket and select B15, close the bracket plus remember uh, you want to do, we, have, we want to five years and then I believe two months. What did I, okay, we we'll put two months, okay. And then um, for day, then for day. Okay, open bracket and refer this again, close the bracket, how many days? 10 days. I think that's what I mentioned earlier. I cannot see it because it covered my, with covered with my um, formula. Okay, so yeah, so I, I want to add 5 years, 2 months and 10 days to February 1 and uh here's the formula i want to make sure that it's correct yeah it's five years and then two months and then um two months and then 10 days so do you see the correlation here this is for year five years two months and here is 10 days all right so easy breezy now let me copy the formula here so what I want to do is add two years. All you need to do is change five to two. And we said one month. So for a month, you want to you uh, change two to one. And then for 10 days, you want to change it to two. And here it is. Oh, I copied the whole thing, but you got the point when i highlighted it okay so you want two years here let me say, do that correct it properly and then you want two years and then you want a uh, month is one month one month and then two days that's more like it okay so this one here you want to add five years five years and then you want to use two months and then 10 days there you go that's april 11 2026 neat right so let's uh keep going uh the next that i want to show you is shoe dates as the day of the week convert dates to the text of the day and uh, the day of the week and use text by using text and weekday function this is what i have here right so here is my column date date one column this is where i'm going to add my formula formula and then this is what i want to achieve calculates the day of the week for the date and returns the full name of the day so what day is it on january 1st 2025 and it should give me the full name of the day and here what day is it on december 25 2021 it will only give me the abbreviation okay so how do we do that it's not hard to do, folks. It's, it seems, sounds hard, but it is not. So again, type the equal sign and then um, the text function, open bracket, weekday, 
okay and then um, open bracket and again we are in select this and then close the bracket add comma and this time you have to add code code oh sorry add code and then put the d d d d for these okay and then close the bracket watch what happened so on january 1st 2025 it is on wednesday let's check to make sure okay so this is 20 24. go there 22 23 i just to make sure that it's the formula works so oh, i went over january 1st here we go it's a wednesday so the formula works yay so that's so amazing now what i want to know is what day is it on december 25th and it should give me the abbreviation so i can copy the same formula but so and as you can see it's saturday this giving me a full name i want to do it as abbreviation all you need to do really from the formula here just remove one day and watch what happened it gives me the abbreviation of saturday you see the neat okay and i have two more to show you okay and i'm really excited to uh show this uh to show this to you because it's actually um i find it neat to be honest with you okay so again the text formula changed the case of text to change oh this the, the anyway just ignore that the, using the upper lower or proper function so i have my column one here as you can see uh, i've typed my my name here this is where i'm going to add my formula so what will be the formula and you probably um it's, this is very like the what i added here change text to uppercase it's a hint for you that you can use that formula okay so for example jessica hudson i want to change the text to uppercase so again start with equals and then you have to type the upper function and select the cell oh always keep remember folks i keep always uh, forgetting upper open bracket select the column um one here and then close the bracket and where you go it's giving me upper cases jessica hudson now what about if i want to change the text to proper we don't really write like this in real life right all capital we're like you're yelling we don't want we just want to have a proper um case so what do we do for that again type the equals button and then type proper open bracket select column one close the bracket there you go it's giving me this jessica hudson glitter copy uppercase j uppercase h neat right now what about if right now my hudson my h is capital i want that to be lowercase okay so what do we need to do for uh what do we what formula that will uh will achieve that and again use the lower function okay so equals type lower open bracket select column one close the bracket and enter and here you go this is jessica hudson all right so isn't that neat okay then the next and last one that i'm going to show you so do, do it here is to combine first and last name to combine first and last names use the ampersand operator this one here or the concatenate function okay this is what they call it all right so what will be the formula as you can see i want to combine my jessica hudson 
okay my first name and last name call it combine two strings okay so what will be the formula for that and the formula for that is equals again start with equal select column one write the ampersand column two and there you go it combined the two strings or my first and last name now i want to combine it um like but with a space right how do we do that and again start with equals uh sign uh, the um the equals um type that and because it's always right um, and then select the uh, column a32 all right and then uh, write ampersand and this time you need to write the code or type the code space code ampersand select column two and there you go here is my jessica hudson with a space i combine them and then with a space isn't it neat yeah so excel can do so many things for us there's pivot table there's um v lookup there's a lot i'm only showing you i don't want to overwhelm you with lots of functions but this is a uh, functions that i always use in sharepoint so i thought i want to show you this all right folks that's it for today i hope you like that contents that will give you some insight about excel and that will motivate you to learn more about excel so if you like this video don't forget to press the like button and again let me ask you to please subscribe to my channel uh, that will help me a lot and also if you uh, feel free to add a comments if you would like to um, know more about Excel, what would you like to learn? And I can show or make a video for you. Okay, folks, thank you very much for being with me today, for being so patient. So I will see you in my next vlog.